Border Collie Poodle Mix Do you want all the energy, personality, and charm of a Golden Doodle, but also want to stand out from the crowd? Well, then the Border Collie Poodle Mix might be a dog you should be keeping an eye on. Often referred to as a Boar Doodle or Border Boodle, this lovable dog has a lot of eye-catching characteristics that most owners absolutely love like having a beautiful, multicolored coat which is hypoallergenic and non-shedding to boot. If you want a real classic type of dog, the ones that have a lot of energy and love to run and play fetch, then make sure you stick around until the end of today's video. We are going to be breaking down everything about the Bordoodle, from how to take care of them, to who they're for, and a lot more. So without further delay, let's get started! Taking a look at the parents. The easiest way to learn more about a hybrid dog is to take a look at what their parents are like. We'll start with the one that we probably cover on this channel the most for obvious reasons. The Poodle is one of the most well-known dogs on the planet and is currently ranked 7th on the American Kennel Club's popularity list. Poodles are best known for being very intelligent dogs and for having a coat that doesn't shed. Poodles originated in either Germany or France, depending on who you ask, and were mainly used for water activities and other athletic exercises. The Border Collie, on the other hand, is a dog that is steeped in history, and the breed first came to be in Northumberland, a place right on the border and Scotland. They were initially bred to help owners herd sheep and other livestock, and actually didn't become popular until well into the 20th century, when one was shown in a dog contest that it ended up winning. Because of their job being mainly the herding of animals and livestock, border collies tend to be extremely smart animals, and need a decent amount of attention and stimulation to stay happy. The Typical Border Doodle in the modern day, both the Poodle and the Border Collie are popular dogs that are well known across the world. Both of these breeds also come together with a lot of variety to offer, which makes the chances of someone else having a Border Doodle like yours very unlikely. Poodles can actually come in 10 different colors, while the Border Collie boasts an incredible 17 standard colors, making it harder to predict what color your Border Doodle will come with. On average, the Border Collie Poodle mix will be about 20 inches in height and weigh around 40 pounds when they are fully grown. But there is a pretty wide range of options when it comes to sizing, so let's take a look at what you will be choosing from if you wanted to get your own Border Doodle from a breeder. Sizing Options There are three major options when it comes to the Border Doodle – Mini, Medium, and Standard. The way that these sizing designations are done is pretty simple. Mini is anything under 30 pounds, medium is anything between 30 and 40 pounds, and standard is anything over 30 pounds. Mini is the tiniest option, and usually the result of breeding a mini poodle with a smaller border collie. A lot of people prefer the mini size, because typically the smaller bordoodles will have less energy than the bigger ones. Minis are also popular because they require less room to properly take care of and can be comfortable living in a condo, apartment, or even an RV without any issues whatsoever. Even still though, you should still be expecting to exercise your Border Doodle fairly often, as they are still an extremely active dog. Next up is the middle ground in terms of sizing. A medium-sized Border Doodle hits the sweet spot for a lot of people in terms of size and accommodations, and this is a perfect option if you are looking to get outdoorsy with your furry companion. Medium-sized dogs are great for running or hiking with, but you'll have to make sure that you are giving these dogs the amount of room and stimulation that they need to be at their best. With a dog this big, you're going to need a larger house to keep them entertained. But people who live extremely active lifestyles that they share with their dog can also support a Border Doodle in a condo or apartment too. The biggest you can get for a Border Doodle is called the standard size, and you're going to have to accommodate this dog quite a bit in order to keep them happy and healthy. A standard sized Border Collie Poodle mix is going to need to live a very active lifestyle, and will need to run around and get all that extra energy out throughout the day. As a result, this sized dog should be reserved to people who live in larger homes with big backyards. On top of that, you should probably be living an active lifestyle as well, since this dog is going to need many opportunities to push out all their energy. This is a very smart dog, and they can become somewhat destructive if they are not feeling stimulated enough with the activities they are doing. 
the many different coat colors of the Bordoodle. Unlike other kinds of doodles, the Bordoodle's coat is almost impossible to predict. This, of course, has to do with the fact that there are a lot of different coat colors to choose from, but there are some things we have been able to figure out. For one, we know that Merle is regarded as the dominant trait, and it's why so many Bordoodles seem to boast a Merle coat. A piece of advice if you are really hoping for a specific color, look at the coat color of both the parents and assume that their coat will be one of those. Unfortunately, that's about as sure as you can usually get when it comes to guessing coat color. Nonetheless, here are some of the options that you can expect to see. Blue Merle usually comes across as a combination of blues, tans, and whites that appear as patches across the fur of the Bordoodle. This coat may also affect the eye and skin color of the puppy, and those are changes that are worth looking out for. It's also worth noting that, due to a unique set of genetic circumstances, breeding two Blue Merle Dog Bordoodles together should be avoided at all costs, since it can result in blindness or deafness in the offspring. Besides the classic Blue Merle look, you can also get a black and white Bordoodle to call your own too. This dog will have a mostly black body with streaks of white around the chest and face regions. This is also a mostly dominant genetic characteristic, and so you may see it appear seemingly at random in certain litters. Another two color combinations that you may see is a solid black or solid brown colorway, both of which are very highly sought after. In both of these combos, you may also see touches of white on the chest of the dog, and these usually appear when you breed a darker colored poodle with a darker colored border collie. These are somewhat rare compared to the black and white or blue merle coats, but people are very interested in these coats because they make the dog stand out and seem more unique. Is this the dog for me? Now that we've gotten to know this breed a little better, it's time for the moment of truth. Is this dog for me? The question that you may be asking yourself right now. Well, if you are looking for an intelligent and extremely active dog, then the Border Collie Poodle Mix might be the perfect choice for you. But if you are someone who doesn't have the room to support a dog like this, or someone that isn't willing to live a lifestyle needed to support this kind of animal, then you could run into issues. The Bordoodle is an excellent family dog, and one that can get along with other dogs and animals if introduced and socialized from an early age. If you can't properly exercise this dog, however, they are likely to develop destructive tendencies that can frustrate you and affect your life. If you want a Bordoodle, you are getting some of the best genetics in terms of the dog being both non-shedding and hypoallergenic. Unfortunately, this dog is also one that requires frequent grooming and hair care as a result, and so keep that in mind before making a choice. Bordoodles are some of the kindest and most fun dogs that you will ever have the pleasure of knowing, and they can be a truly special companion. Would you be interested in getting one for yourself? Let us know why or why not down in the comment sections down below. As always, if you liked the video, please leave a like as it helps us out in a big way. If you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to the channel as well. That's all for today's video. We'll see you on the next video.